Hi everyone. everyone, welcome to another Glasgow Review. Yes, we are back in our second home of Cineworld Sheffield and tonight we're going to see a sci-fi classic, Independence Day. Yeah, I love Independence Day. It's been so long as well since you've seen it. Definitely, yeah. I, I used to reenact moments out like the scenes from um, different parts of Independence Day at school. I used to love doing really? that. Yeah, <laughs> the whole scenes, I used to reenact them at school. It was strange. I remember seeing this in the cinema back when I used to live in Grimsby, way back in 1996, and it was mm. such a huge sort of phenomenon. Uh, and there was just queues for it, and yeah, everyone was going really bonkers well. for it. Yeah. Uh, we just wanted to say beforehand, though, uh, this was directed by uh, Ronald Emmerich, who has just recently directed uh, Midway, which we have seen, and mm -hmm. it's on our channel. And we just want to say thank you for everyone. It's been a good positive response to Midway. Yeah. Um, at the time of recording, well over 200 views. So thank you very much, guys, for that. And please keep them comments in. So yeah, and check it out in 4DX. Absolutely, yes. Please check it out in 4DX. If you've got that facility, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, so we're going to go and watch the film now, and we're going to do a little review for you afterwards. So stay tuned. And we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hi everyone, we are back now from watching the amazing Independence Day and yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah, just a quick rundown of the plot just in case you haven't seen this uh, classic. Uh, basically it's aliens invading Earth. Uh, we have our gang of heroes, uh, which is Bill Pullman, who's the president. Uh, we've got Will Smith as the cool fighter pilot. Uh, we have Randy Quaid as the drunken redneck pilot. Uh, Jeff Goldblum as our sort of nerdy science TV repairman, but figures out that the aliens are using the signals against us. And I think that's all of them. Yeah, yeah that'll do. <laughs> okay, so let's get on to some, some main plot stories. Yeah, so for us... The main question is, does it still hold up after, I think, about 23 years since it was yeah, out? It's back been a in long 96? time. This was something I watched yeah. when I was a kid. Absolutely. Like, all the time. Mm. Like, if you're one of those people, I'm sure you know what I mean, where you watched it one day, yeah, and you just carried on watching it again the next day, and again, and again, and again. Yeah, it was a big, big, exploding uh, popularity <laughs> of this film. And, yes, it does hold up. Of course it does. Um... I would say the effects for say 80% of it still hold up. I love the miniature explosions. Uh, the blue screen's a bit wobbly in some places. You know, you can tell they're behind either a blue or a green screen. But I said you? I don't really, I don't really question it that much because I know it's such an amazing film, and I think because I've watched it so much over time that you don't, it just just doesn't change. It just doesn't change for me. I just really, I still enjoy it. Mm. You liked all the sort of the the big alien ship going over the monuments and the buildings and stuff. Yeah, I think it's such an iconic moment, like when you see the shadow going over like Empire State Building. Um, it just it's just quite there's quite a lot of few iconic moments in there mm. I would have to say props to the score of the film as well yeah the score was really good I mean I think it was quite a lot before we even got to the, to the cinema I was quite singing a few mm. bits of the music yeah. but we do quote it quite a lot as well we, we do, do quote quite yeah. a lot of quite a lot of the scenes from Independence mm. Day just to go uh, back over to the scoring of it, uh, this was by David Arnold, and a bit of a fun fact for you, not only did he do five James Bond movies and the god-awful Godzilla film that uh, <laughs> Ronald Emmerich did after Independence Day, he also did the theme to Little Britain. That is a bit bizarre. <laughs> That's quite an off, off yeah. side track thing to do. Mm. But well, if it works for him. Yeah. So, as Chris said before, this is an amazing cast, as I'm sure you all know. And I wouldn't normally put Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum together, but they really worked. It really worked. There were some quite good funny moments between them. It was amazing. Yeah, it's, it's just kind of like the start of Will Smith's sort of big sort of step into Hollywood, really. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Goldblum was super established after the popularity of Jurassic Park. So, yeah, they, they all mixed together really well. And... As much as you can easily pick on Ronald Emmerich, uh, with especially the, with the scripts and everything else, I thought they did. They do, They all brought something to the table. Really. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was definitely um, an equal amount of of something from yeah, everyone. Even from like some of the minor sort of actors or characters, like Judd Hirsch and Brent Spiner. There was yeah, all yeah. Brent Spiner. It was really nice to see him, especially mm. since we've seen him this year. And I was, yeah. it was a bit of a moment for me. And I'm like, oh my god, we've met Brent Spiner. Mm. But yeah, he did such a really good job. Um, yeah, really, really enjoyed the cast. Yeah, it's really great. You can 
pig holes in this film. Let's let's not beat about the bush. Um, you know, it is one of those films where you have to suspend your disbelief. You know, like yeah, there's a few things you can question. Yeah, like uh, Will Smith uh, just happens to find his girlfriend in the middle of nowhere, uh, but happens to have the first lady in tow. Uh, but yeah, uh, the president didn't know about Area Fifty One, but somehow Will Smith did. <laughs> that yeah, little things a, like that but I don't think about things like that when no. I'm watching Independence Day I don't think about the, the nitty gritty stuff because I think because I have such a love for it for when I was a kid because um, I don't know if anybody else had this I had this on VHS and, mm. and it had the, um, the, the the slide insert that when you tilted it and changed it you could see the um, the White House yeah, exploding it was, like a, it was really cool yeah I've, I've got that copy it was like a free 3D, like a 3D effect uh, postcard and, yeah and I used thing. to love it yeah. I used to love that as a kid I, used to... I mine got a free uh, Independence Day wall poster that I had on the back of my bedroom door uh, I think it was very sort of similar I can't remember I think it was with the uh, White House uh, before the aliens blow it up so yes the main theme here is suspend your disbelief. Uh, one of them that I <laughs> found it quite amusing uh, was an alternative scene that they could have used in this film where instead of Russell, uh, Randy Quaid, uh, not being in his uh, jet fighter to make the ultimate sacrifice, he was going to be in his little biplane with uh, missiles strapped onto it. So I'm glad that they didn't go with that route because that would have been a bit... Jumping over the yeah, shot, sure. been a bit wobbly. I'm sure there were quite a few deleted scenes that he included in there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, altogether, it was just a really amazing film. I really had a connection to it because, because I watched it as a kid. So it was an awesome, awesome entertaining time for me. Yeah, it's a popcorn action thriller. Uh, I enjoyed it. Still enjoy it now. Mm. It's an 8 out of 10 for me. And it's a 9 out of 10 from me. Thanks very much, guys, for watching. Love to know in the comments below if you've seen Independence Day and also did you have the VHS with the insert inside? Yes, we want all your nostalgia memories for this film, good or bad. Yep. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you again soon for some more Gladly YouTube videos. Cool. See you soon. Bye. Bye.